So I have a dilemma this morning. Um, I'm at I'm at Granite Lake, which is part of sorry, I'm sleepy still. Granite Basin is the most beautiful place I've ever been to in my entire life. Like, nothing can ever, ever stand a chance to being that beautiful. Granite Lake is just above that. So, my original plans was to hike up to Lower Tent Meadow and then the first night. And then the second night and the third night stay at Granite Basin. And so, this is my first night. I just woke up. And, um... And my plan was to have all of today to explore the lake and the basin, which are so beautiful and I could easily do that. Now my dilemmas come in. I've got several things working against me. It seems like the little solar charger I bought is crap. So I've got like 33% left on my phone. Um, and I use that for GPS and also for some video and movies. Um, the reason I'm using it for movies is because my video camera that when I brought it, I got up here. And I forgot to put the SD card in it. So it can't. So it's fully charged and everything. Can't do a damn thing with it. So no movies. Um, just rip my regular camera. And my cell phone for videos. And for GPS. But the. Here's, here's the. So those things are kind of working against me. And the mosquitoes. Oh my god the mosquitoes. But. The other thing is that. This is only, it was like 11 or 11 and a half miles to this lake. And it took me two days. Now, by comparison, when I went on my Ray Lakes hike, um, it was 11 miles to the first campsite, which was Upper Paradise Campsite. And it was a total elevation gain of 2,000 feet from 4,000 to 7,000. Yeah. So here, the first night was a gain from 5,000 to 7,400. Except that that gain wasn't spread out over 11 miles. It was spread out over four and a half. And so it was the first time I ever was on a trail that, no joke, literally, did not have one little downward bit. Usually it's like... There's some up, you know, mostly up, but a little bit of down to give yourself a rest. No, it was all up. I was busted when I got there. Um, and so then the next day was from 7,500 to like 10,300. All up. Not a blessed little relaxing downward stint. That took me to the top of the lip that overlooks Granite Basin. And so... That part was probably three miles. Ow. Oh, sun got on my eye. Um, and then there was a, a downward. Then there was finally a loss of 500 feet to the bottom of the granite basin. And then a level walk from there to the campsite. Um, but I know it's going to be like... So the first night took me like six hours it's like four and a half hours or four and a half miles and then yesterday it took me I left at 6 40 in the morning and I got here at like just before four so probably like 3 45 and I took about a 45 minute lunch break at the top of the lip so anyways oh I mean, going back it's going to be considerably faster because it's all downhill but I still have to go slow you know so I don't like twist angles or anything but at least I won't be tired and having to take breaks but that's still I think I won't get home till like 6 or out of the trailhead till 6 then I would drive home 2 hours till 8 and then I have to work the next day and that's going to be really long so I'm thinking even though it's so 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 very 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 beautiful here I may just have kind of like a sleep-in morning, make sure I have a good hot breakfast, drink plenty and plenty of water, and then I think I might hike out today and use all my remaining battery to take videos and pictures.
just so I can have a rest day tomorrow because I'm going to need it because I kicked my ass 10 ways till Tuesday. So, anyways. But yeah, look at that. That was my view. I went to bed and the sun was setting. Then I wake up and the sun is rising. <clears throat> it's awesome. I don't want to leave, but the mature part of me tells me, go home. You'll regret it. I'll be hating life on Monday if I stay an extra day. But I might be hating life if I skip an extra day. I'm still not decided. Maybe I'll stay today, but I'll actually like pack up camp at like 5 a.m. Be on the trail at like 5:30. That might be a doable thing. Anyways, we'll see. I have no bad.